What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And in today's video, I got to talk about Jim Farley, the CEO over there at Ford, and his massive love of this um, Xiaomi EV food stamp Tesla that he's been driving in basically posting rave reviews about it. Said he can't get enough of it. I feel like it's done on purpose to kind of set the roadmap out for what Ford's going to do. Now, Stellantis is trying this already. I, I feel like Stellantis has intentionally damaged their brands or pushed their stock low enough to where they could merge with another company like BYD, and be that Trojan horse to be able to offer the electric vehicles from China here in the United States. And maybe Ford is trying to beat them to the punch. As I said, Ford CEO Jim Farley is a super huge fan of this, uh, this Xiaomi EV that he's been driving around, which I affectionately call the food stamp Tesla. But he's also paired back some of the EV development and things that were supposed to be going on at Ford in in um and switched 180 degrees to make, making more trucks and I'm not talking about lightnings I'm talking F250s F350s F150s as opposed to like the Ranger EV that's been pushed back a little bit we're not going to see that till 2027 but what if those investments were pushed back by Ford because they're working on a deal to either purchase or have an exclusive partnership with, say, a GAIC or a, you know, Geely or something along, maybe even BYD to be able to offer those vehicles here in America with a Ford Blue Oval on the nameplate. Sound far-fetched? Not really. These executives are looking at how much it's costing China to manufacture these vehicles and how much they're selling it for. And they've made it very clear, people in Detroit have made it very clear, that this would be a apocalyptic event. If, if BYD was able to open up dealerships in America tomorrow and start selling their Seagull, companies would go bankrupt in America within six months. They'd be gone. Absolutely gone. <sniffs> gone. Ford is seeing that. And it's funny because Stellantis is the same way. We've seen the same thing with Carlos Tavares sticking up for China, basically saying, no, 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 tariffs are not the way. We should not tariff Chinese vehicles. We need to learn and adapt and be like them. Now, to, to Jim's credit at Ford, at least he has not said that, right? At least to Jim's credit, he hasn't said that. He's not, we need to be friends with, we need to, we need to like adopt all this stuff. From, no, he, he hasn't said that. But he is a super fan of some of the stuff that is being built there. And it would not surprise me in the least, if he tries to incorporate one of those companies either into Ford, maybe Ford makes a purchase, um, you know, that would require Chinese government approval, or they get into an exclusive partnership. Now, I know you're going to say, well, how does that work? Well, it's happened before between Chrysler and Mitsubishi. You know, we had the Dodge Stealth, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. They were the same freaking car. You had the Eagle Talon, the Mitsubishi Eclipse, same car. Back in the day, Chevy had the, what the hell was it? it was it the, uh, was it, it wasn't the Nova. I forget what it was, but it was a little tiny compact four-door cars before the Geo. And um, it was basically a Toyota with Chevy badges. Toyota and, and Chevy did the same thing with Toyota in, uh, you know, production and building of the Volt. This, do you, do you, are you not surprised that the damn thing looks like a Chevy Prius from the same time period? So... We could see Ford do something similar with, say, 
Xiaomi. Xiaomi is not a huge auto manufacturer. They mostly make cell phones. But they did foray into the uh, EV market, and it's a pretty popular car that they're selling, at least there. And that's the one that the Ford CEO is driving. But I digress. I want to ask you, do you think, who do you think it'll be first? Do you think it's Ford or is it Stellantis that is trying to be the Trojan horse, so to speak, for Chinese EVs in America? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Let's have a discussion. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.